This week on Whitetail Edge. Hi, and welcome to Whitetail Edge. I'm Ben Rising, your host. Today, we're going to Illinois. We're going to watch me shoot a 173-inch monster Midwest whitetail. Whitetail Edge, presented by Woodbury Outfitters. I got the truck loaded up and we're headed back out to Illinois here. Well, welcome to Whitetail Edge. I'm Ben Rising and uh, we're on our way to Illinois here. Well, actually we're in Illinois now. We left last night. Um, from Ohio and you can see all the flat ground which you guys that live out this way are used to that where I'm at it's pretty hilly so I kind of actually enjoy coming out here it's not such rough terrain and we don't have near the amount of crops that I'm used to seeing at home compared to here so there is a ton of crops out here but anyways um, we're gonna head to one of my leases out here I just picked this lease up this past spring. I turkey hunted it, killed a turkey on it this spring. Um, did some deer scouting and all that. Hung, I think I hung like five or six stands while I was out here. I've got a few more with me, uh, but I've got another e another lease too, more southern Illinois that we're going to try to set up while we're on this trip. But hopefully, uh, can maybe show you a few things that I like to do and how I like to hunt. Um, you know, out-of-state stuff when I only got four or five days to try to get something done, um, especially on property that I can't be on or watch all the time or run cameras every three weeks, you know, makes it a lot tougher. Um, so there's some things that I do to try to be successful that I think might be able to help some people out. And um, so we'll see what we can, what we can all learn together. One thing about summer scouting is it's really never fun. It's always hot, the bugs are bad, spider webs are always in your face, but you know, you really, you gotta sweat and you gotta get out there and you gotta look around, especially when it's a new farm. This was the first year I'd ever hunted this farm, so I really had no idea what I was gonna get myself into. But I was anxious to see what kind of bucks I had on camera, as far as velvet pictures and so forth, to even know what was kind of roaming the area. Once you get out there and you start checking things out, you know, the more you're on land, the better you learn it. But the key is when you're hunting these big deer, you can't be on the land too much. And that's why sometimes having a lease out of state or having permission to hunt somewhere that's eight hours away is almost good because you can't be on it messing it up all the time. Intrusion is the number one factor that detours people from killing a big deer a lot of times. See, we got a creek and a ditch down in here and there's all these fingers and there's all this standing corn. It's really hard to get in here right now until this corn's off. But everybody thinks that, you know, these big bucks, you know, this time of year that they're more in the beans and places like that. Well, they are to a degree, but those big bucks love to be by themselves. I don't, you know, I'm talking, when I say big bucks, I'm talking that 180 type deer and bigger, or some deer just don't have the genetics to get that big, but like a five, six year old buck, a lot of times they like to just be separate from the other deer. And like you can tell right here, this is one deer all the time. He lays up here. And I'll guarantee you this is a good deer right here. Um, yeah, should I be standing here? You know, one time doing something like this coming in here, 
isn't going to bother nothing. The deer isn't going to like it, but it's not going to run him out of here. Now, if I did this every week, it'd be totally different. Um, but I just kind of wanted to show you this, and you can tell, see how beat down this is. This deer beds here all the time. Now, it's fall time. It's time to hunt. It's first part of November. I've got my son Blaine with me. He's 16 years old. This is his first time ever running a camera in a tree stand. So this should be interesting. Well, it's November 5th. <clears throat> Day number three for us here in Illinois. We got turkeys flying out of trees. The woods is coming alive. So hopefully uh, we get on a big deer. Right in a smack of a bedding area. Surrounded by two standing corn fields, which is probably going to come off later this morning, I'm guessing, because they're picking all around us. We're hoping to catch a big buck coming in here this morning looking for a doe. I just seen a doe a second ago. There's huge rubs in here along the stand yesterday. So hopefully we catch something coming in here. The movement's been real slow. I mean, it's been warm. They've been moving real late. We haven't even seen a good buck yet, but I got good pictures of deer, great pictures of some big bucks that I checked on a couple cameras just on the edges. I haven't penetrated looking at those cameras, but uh, we're just going to sit tight here. Hopefully it's that time of year. Something's got to walk through here eventually. We're going to sit it out for a little bit and see what happens. <laughs> Give me some, son. <laughs> what do you think of that, Ooh, buddy? Awesome. 40 yard <laughs> shot, dude. 40 yards. Heart shot him. 
Whitetail Edge, baby, Illinois. He's down in the field. I don't believe it, son. I don't believe it. That's the other booner. We had two booners, and that's the other one. That's the little smaller of the two. Unbelievable. I love you, Blaine. We knew that if we was getting into, into these funnels eventually, and I was getting pictures of this deer on this farm, and I was like, eventually that deer's gotta come through here. I thought he was gonna come walk point blank. He didn't do it. He, was, he stopped on the edge of the field and I thought he was gonna turn and go out of my life. So I thought, you know what, I gotta take this shot. He's quartering away, I gotta take the shot. And he was just dumping blood across the field. Yes. I can see blood right here. Blood instant. Look, look here. Well, here he is. We got him tagged. What a gorgeous Illinois buck. I mean, just an awesome, awesome 10 pointer with two big stickers. Makes him a 12. The old Hoyt carbon spider. Super job at 40 yards, buddy. Just a beautiful buck. Had my son Blaine behind the camera filming. We caught him in a travel corridor, coming from one big bedding area to another. Um, it was just awesome. I, I don't know. I don't. Words can't even describe it. Uh, just a great buck. Really thrilled. Just feel really, really happy right now. It's an awesome year. Two booners in one year. It's just incredible. Just a big old Illinois ten pointer. Awesome. You feel so blessed when the hard work pays off and the good Lord rewards you with a deer like this. And, um, you know, it's just so awesome to be able to do what we're doing. Granted, this show isn't my living. You know, I'm a logger by trade, buyer standing timber. My wife does real estate. Uh, I also have an outfitting business. I mean, we're busy all the time. We're trying to do this show also because we're trying to turn it into something, spend time with friends and family. And to, to share this moment with my son, it was awesome. Um, the blood trail was just insane. I mean, when we walk up to this deer, it's just, it's unbelievable. I mean, the deer didn't go 70 yards through this cornfield, fell over right in the corn, and there is more blood than I've ever seen on any deer I've ever shot. Um, it's just, I don't know, it was just the perfect angle, everything just happened, and we couldn't even try to clean this deer up because it was just so messy. But anyways, he was dead. He didn't even know what happened. You talk about a humane kill. Whitetail Edge is brought to you by Rocky, Hoyt, Big Tide, HHA Sports, Redneck Hunting Blinds, On Time Wildlife Feeders, Muddy, Whitetails Unlimited, Advantage Ag and Equipment, Michael Waddell's Bone Collector, Black Widow Deer Lures. Be sure to follow Whitetail Edge on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.